Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 696 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today, we're going to talk about a site that I have depended on, I think, since the the late 90s. And it's called Search Engine News. Now, it's a paid site. I'm not an affiliate for them. I don't even know if they have an affiliate program. But I'll warn you up front, you won't understand every title of every article that they put out. But <laughs> I don't even. But I can tell you that if you learn the concept they're talking about and then have a geek implement it for you, it's going to pay off for you. So that, that's episode uh, 696 today. In a couple minutes, I'll get to that. All right, hope you didn't miss episode 695. That was a communication device called an online walkie-talkie to keep in touch with people uh, very quickly. So uh, check that out. It's real cheap. And uh, also watch out for uh, the upcoming uh, next week. We'll start promoting the Screw the Commute online virtual summit. It's totally free. And if you've ever seen some of the old style summits where you have to sit there all day long for like five days in a row. No, no, no. I partnered up with a guy named Ray Brem and we're going to, uh, this is a whole new concept where you'll get the, the videos released and then you'll have 48 hours to watch whichever ones you want, when, whenever you want. <laughs> okay. So uh, there's no charge to this. There's going to be about 20 speakers. Plus I'm doing five kind of master classes. The first one's on my internet marketing three-prong attack. Second one's on email, an email master class. Third one is a podcast master class, both from the guest perspective and from having your own podcast. Fourth one is a pro speaking master class. And the last one is how to become a multimillionaire guy or girl next door. Okay, so uh, watch for the announcement of that coming out. And also uh, follow me on TikTok. I have one video that's now past 540,000 views. And uh, by the time you hear this, and by the time you, by the time you hear this, it's probably 550,000. It's going like crazy. And I've only been on about two months. And I've got a lot of uh, back episodes on TikTok. So check that out. And uh, all right, let's get to the main event. Search Engine News. Well, I've subscribed to this for over 20 years, and it's the longest-running, most highly respected source for mostly technical information on what's going on with search engines and what you should do about it. But it's way more than that. I got to tell you, that's how they promote themselves, that kind of, but there's, it's all kinds of stuff. I'm going to give you a list of articles, not even all the articles, just the ones I could understand what they were about. Because as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> some, I don't even understand the title of the article, but a good geek uh, should. Uh, let's see. So this was just uh, from the uh, January 2023 episode. Uh, let's see. A step-by-step -step guide to changing your domain name with minimal imp impact to your website's rankings. Well, that's a pretty cool thing. I don't know, even know how to do that. Uh, Google Trends adds local year in search. 755 link builders reveal what worked in 2022. Google drops the hammer on scammers. Beautiful. Two algorithm updates for holiday shopping. Automatically organize your keywords. Uh, new Google search status dashboard. Uh, let's see. Quality rating guidelines. Let's see. Google ads developer blog summary. So if you're, in the, if you're doing any advertising. Curated list of pay-per-click articles from all of uh, the previous year. Very, very powerful stuff, folks. And this is a really cheap service, too, I got to tell you. Uh, local search. Studies suggest upvoted reviews last longer. So uh, that's that's good to know and what you can do about it. Local guide reviews stay on top, uh, how to stay on top longer. And they've got articles about how to put frequently asked question page on your website. That, and that's really cool because you can... If you do that properly, now you can do that yourself just by putting the frequently asked questions, but there's a way to do it that the geeks know how to do 
called using snippets. And this really is loved by the search engine. So you literally could be on the first page of Google and pass up other sites that are way more substantial than you by doing that one thing. And this, this, uh, these people show you how to do it. And then I got to tell you, there's a lot of young, younger people, well-known names that you've heard of probably that are teaching this stuff. But I got to tell you, I've been around a long time. The people that run this site are the geeks of all geeks. I mean, they dig so deep into testing all kinds of minute things to see what actually works. A lot of these young people are just giving you anecdotes that they say, oh, yeah, yeah I think you should do this. And and then uh, there's no really uh, science behind it where these guys, I mean, said so they've been they, they have the geeks of all geeks <laughs> that, that dig in deep and give you information that actually works. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, how to use video on your website. Uh, the December issue had a complete guide to auditing your website, part one and two. So it's like how to check out every detail of your website so it beats the heck out of your competitors. Let's see uh, what else we got here. Yeah, there's loads, loads of user friendliness articles, not just search engine stuff. Because if you could, if you come up in the first page of Google and then somebody comes to your site and they think it stinks, they can't figure stuff out, they can't navigate easily, they're going to leave. And then you're going to drop in the rankings. All the work you did to get a high ranking is blown away because the visitor thinks your site sucks. So it, it's got all kinds of articles about that. All kinds of, uh, if you're doing any kind of advertising, how to do it in the most cost-effective way, how not to make mistakes that beginners make that cost you a fortune. Because, see, when you go to advertise in all these places, just the way you do it screams to Facebook and Twitter and TikTok, everybody, that you don't know what you're doing. And, you know, th none of them are going to admit this, but... They're going to screw you because they're going to put your ads in the worst places that never convert or make you any money because they know you're, you are you don't know what you're doing. You're going to quit. So they might as well grab as much money as they can from you uh, while, while they can. And uh, like I said, they're never going to admit to this, right? But that's the way it works. So they teach you so that doesn't happen to you. And there's tons and tons more. I just can't emphasize enough how valuable – this site is if you're serious about the online part of your business. And if you want help with all this, yeah, they'll give you articles on it. But uh, And I even have to turn stuff over to uh, propeller heads and geeks sometimes. But after doing this as many years as I have, I know a lot of this stuff already. And I can help you with it, and especially in my mentor program and, of course, in our school. So check it out at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. That's for my mentor program. And if you're in the mentor program, you get a scholarship to my school, which is the only licensed, dedicated internet and digital marketing school in the country, probably the world. And uh, if you want to do that separately, that's fine. Or you can gift it to someone. And that would be one of the best legacy gifts you could ever give to somebody. So, so check it out, greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. And the, the school site is imtcva.org. Of course, these are in the show notes. All right, check out Search Engine News, and I will catch you on the next episode. See you later.